Hi guys, Sam with Aquaculture Systems Technologies. Uh, we recently posted a video of the grow beds we set up in our facility. And some people asked some questions of how it's actually functioning. Uh, so to generate the flow through the grow beds, we're using an airlift, which as you can see, it's powered by an AL40 Alita pump. Um, the benefit of an airlift is you don't need to use a water pump to create the flow. So it eliminates the need for separate air pumps for aeration and a water pump. So you don't need any water pump that's more efficient. Um, this one we're using an injector stem. So we got this hose barb that goes down to a three quarter inch pipe. And uh, this is a two inch pipe. And the three quarter inch pipe goes all the way at the bottom, injects the air which creates that lift and pressure differential, which then ejects out of this T. And if you come on top, you can see we have about a, a five gallon per minute flow generated from this. Uh, and that is what keeps the oxygen transferring through the beds and the roots constantly have over probably eight milligrams per liter of DO. Um, as you can see the plumbing, we basically just gravity fruit feed throughout the whole system. So the lift is generated here. It goes from this blending tank into the first grow bed. Um, just kind of 45s down to create a flow at the bottom of the surface. These are our hybrid cherry tomatoes, probably about three to four months old. We've been doing harvest whenever the uh, fruit actually ripens. This is our butter crunch lettuce. As you can see, we have fairly healthy root systems, nice and white. So clearly no limit of oxygen as you can see we have another connection and I did about a, a two inch drop per grow bed just to ensure we have enough head to, to keep that float flow from overflowing the grow beds but and I like to go in one side of the grow bed and then out the other side so you get a diagonal pattern throughout the whole grow bed it comes out over on this side you can see this is our effluent I do have, if you want to look at this plumbing right here, a stand pipe that comes out the bottom of the tank. So this makes sure our water level in the system, if it ever rains or anything, it overflows at this height and you're never going to have the water overflow the grow beds. It'll overflow out of this pipe first. Uh, but this is the effluent of the system. It comes down, neglect this piping because this was for an older system. But the direction is down and then back all the way under the entire system and it ties into that airlift and that's where we get most of our flow or all of our flow. Uh, now as far as nutrients where we're sourcing them, we're taking them, this is a decoupled system. This is just the hydroponic loop. We have an aquaculture loop inside, it's called our MDC 2000 and uh, that's where all the nitrate and nitrogen is being sourced from and other nutrients like phosphorus and some of the micronutrients. Why don't we check out inside and get an idea of how I am transferring these nutrients. All right guys, so this is where we're sourcing the nutrients from. It's uh, currently one of our reset research and development filters. Um, it's called the MDC 2000. We're right now pushing this to its max capacity as far as feed rate. I think we currently have it up to around 0.9 pounds per day. This is where I source all the nutrients from. And the way I do that is I just take a five gallon bucket, put this hose here, and this hose is connected to our airlift. And it just has a valve here that the airlift gener generates that lift and then you gravity feed the water out. The reason we choose a source from there is one, it's very high in oxygen. And then two, it's connected to the effluent of the filter itself. So that's where you have minimum solids concentration and you don't wanna put any of those solids into your grow bed or it'll clog your root system or steal some of the oxygen. We're looking for clean, nitrate rich, mineral rich water. Um, so as you can see, I'll open up this valve here. It'll generate a flow if I have it gravity feeding correctly. And it's probably only about a half gallon per minute of flow, but you know, you don't need it to be high. Just about every day I add 10 gallons of this nitrate rich water. 
and you can see it's hard to tell in this black container but it's fairly clear water that's how we produce our nutrients here at AST is all through the fish system all right so this is our five gallons of nitrate rich water that we just got from our MDC system and I just go straight into the blending tank with this and it just ties into that loop and constantly gets recirculated upon all the roots um, one thing I didn't mention earlier is when you have these long three foot by eight foot grow beds you do have some some dead zones of flow without turbulence so you will get solid settling as you can see in the corners we will have a little buildup of solids here but the key is about every two weeks I'll take a siphon and I'll siphon all that dead organic material out so it doesn't steal oxygen from the roots and we'll just replenish that with nutrient rich water or hose water itself. But like I said, we try to maintain this to be around 25 to 30 milligrams per liter of nitrate. Uh, but as you can see, the lettuce is looking very healthy. Overall, I'm, I'm very content with what that system is pr producing nutrient wise.